What's happening, everybody? It is I once again, Mr. Cinema Junkie, and I'm coming to you with a review for the new American guinea pig movie, Song of Solomon. Uh, today, I found out that the Song of Solomon is something completely different in the Bible, but I won't get into that. If you've been uh, keeping track of the American guinea pig series, um, you know what it brings to the table. Uh, some deep, visceral imagery. Now, the first story, Bouquet of Guts and Gore, was a uh, story about snuff films. Not so much a story, more of a visual deal. Uh, kind of along the lines of the Japanese version of Guinea Pig, um, uh, flowers of flesh and blood. There were some speaking parts and stuff, but it was mainly about the imagery. Uh, blood shock, very surreal, but very gory and very brutal. Song of Solomon doesn't shy away from any of that. In fact, I think they bring it even harder. Uh, but this has a storyline. The thing is, with this storyline, it's more direct and to the point. With most exorcism movies, and this is an exorcism movie since I didn't, I failed to mention that before. Uh, with most exorcism movies, you've got like a slow burn of a start. Maybe you start with like one image, one crazy image, and then from there it's like, and let's start with our story. And then la da 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 da, and then you go on and on, and little things happen along the way. This is not the case with Song of Solomon. With Song of Solomon, it jumps right into the get. It jumps right into the, the thing feet first Whoosh, you're in it um kicks off strong and stays strong uh in that i feel personally i feel like there was a lot of story to be told in a smaller window um the length was there i'm not saying it wasn't like a a, a short story or anything but um i feel if this had followed the formula of like a mainstream deal, we would have had a three or four hour movie on our hands because you know, the mainstream would have gone with like a lot of side story and a lot of back and forth and a lot of talking and jibber jabber. This does not do that. This gets you right into it. Kind of along the lines of, for me, it's along the lines of like the passion of the Christ. Okay. The story of Jesus has his birth, his teachings all throughout life. Then he gets accused of, of uh, heresy and, and blasphemy. And then he's brought before the Jewish council. And then he's he's beaten and whipped. And then he's crucified. And then he, raises, he rises again. Okay, that's the long version of the story. Passion of the Christ. We go right to his, to his being accused and being crucified. That's what the story focuses on. And to me, in my mind, that's what Song of Solomon focuses on. The possession. And the battle with the evil. I loved it. I loved that that story was written that way. And uh, and Jessica Cameron, she brings it, man. She completely brings it. Uh, I've seen some very, I guess I'd say, convincing portrayals of possession throughout the years. Uh, some of them attribute like body language as far as like, you know, contorting and twisting and things like that. And then you've got like, uh, the godfather of the exorcist films, the exorcist. And, uh, in that one, it was a lot of, uh, visual deals, but Jessica did something to me was a little different. Uh, her, her portrayal was not just the typical, uh, I'm possessed. It was like it, it was like she was having some kind of like personally having fun with it. Like, how often do I get to be possessed? Hey, let's go for it. And uh, th when I would watch it, that's that's kind of what I what I saw in some of it. Uh, I loved it. I loved the portrayal of it. I loved the uh, the the rituals that were used, which which from what I've read and what I was told, these are actual exorcism rituals now a lot of the prayer that i heard in there um i have heard a few people say that 
it got a little repetitious. And what you're hearing is the Lord's Prayer. That's not specifically for exorcism. Um, it's how, on the, I believe it was on the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus taught us to pray, uh, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, that prayer. Uh, but it's, it's a good prayer to jump off with. And if you're going to keep bringing in different people to, to confront this evil, I would say they'd all start off with that prayer. But each one had their own method of dealing with this evil. Some used the, the sands of, I believe it was Jerusalem or Israel. Some used uh, crucifixes on the ground. Some used uh, the holy water. And they all had their ways of, of combating the evil that was that was in this girl. Um, but the Lord's Prayer, just, just to assert what I'm saying here, it's not just an exorcism ritual because in the very beginning of the movie i don't want to spoil anything i'm not really spoiling anything but uh the person in the first scene of the movie uses the lord's prayer so you know it's 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 a it's a common prayer amongst christians and people of christian faith so it, it's not strictly for exorcism but of course i'm sure it's used quite a bit for that uh I want so badly to give this movie a 10. I want to give it a 10 because it delivered in all the parts it was supposed to deliver. Um, the, the people, uh, their parts, they acted their parts beautifully. Um, Van Bever did a great job as, as a priest. Uh, Publicki, he did a great job as priest. And I, I was convinced everybody who, who portrayed a priest did it, you know, with 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 the utmost believability and um there were just little things just so it doesn't sound like i'm on an ass kissing parade here there were some little things that i was kind of like hmm um for one the mom she's she was okay not massively convincing but good she was good um and she kind of switched gears in the film for me where i was kind of like huh but you know it was such a little minute thing that it didn't even matter and there was one scene don't know if this was an accident don't know don't know exactly but there was one scene where where uh there's some some puking of the guts and a hand clearly comes in the shot and it's pulling the guts out of there. Now, at first I thought, okay, maybe that's her hand. And I, I kept watching it. And there's a scene, she is holding the guts with her hand, but it's the wrong hand. And uh, and then in, in watching the, uh, the outtakes and the behind the scenes stuff, there's a little longer shot of that. And it is like the effects guy's hand reaching in and pulling the guts out of that. That came into the shot. Um, I'm really like, not condemning that because it, it i'm sure it happens it can it can happen it's not a huge deal but on a personal level it ruins it for me a little bit it takes away a little bit of the believability once i know once i see you know the card up the sleeve i know the trick how the trick is done then the trick doesn't become that great for me you know what i mean it's like uh it's like in Night of the Living Dead, one of the guy, one of the zombies gets killed. He gets his head beaten in with a with a tire iron, and he's laying on the floor. And they go to drag the body away, and and it says something like, "Don't look at it, don't look." At it. And just before they drag it away, the eyes shift to one side, like he's looking around. Okay, that ruins it for me. He's no longer. It's not a, a dead person on the ground anymore. It's a guy acting. So that that was like little minuscule things that make me go, "Ah, oh, man." <laughs> but hey if if that's all it takes for me to completely pan a movie for me to completely go ah oh, that movie sucked ah don't watch it if that's all it takes for me to do that then i really need to reevaluate my my love for cinema because it takes a lot more than that really this is just little little things it's nothing really so sadly i guess i can't give it a 10 but I will give it a nine, which is still excellent in my book. Um, and uh, great job, guys. Great job, Unearthed Films. Great job, Stephen Byro. Great job, 
Marcus Cook, they, great job, the other guy. <laughs> I forgot his name again. I know he's with Toe Tag Effects. Sorry. And to all the fine actors, Jessica Cameron, Publicki, and Van Beber, and all you guys, excellent job. Um, it was worth the wait. It was really worth the wait. Um, I only wish I would have seen it in a group at a screening. I'm, I'm sure the overall feeling would have been even better. But uh, that's fine. That's fine. I liked it. I really liked it. I am I am a fan of, of the exorcism films. Some are just done so weak and and so like they depend too much on on uh, the jump scare or just something so blasphemous that it's like uncomfortable to watch this was not like that at all it was it was uncomfortable for the right reasons uh it, it was hip i hope i hope it leads into a, a a part two there's definitely room for a part two here uh whether it's part of the AGP series or its own beast, uh, I don't know. But there's definitely room for a, a continuance here. Um, maybe a few years down the road. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, I could see that happening, and I'd be right on board with it. Sign me up. So there you have it. Short but sweet and to the point. Hope I didn't ramble too much, but... Uh, Song of Solomon, American Guinea Pig, Song of Solomon. Pick it up in the three-disc collector's edition. I have the Indiegogo version. Got a lot of neat little perks and bendies in there, but I do want to get the three-disc. I'm a fan of the three-disc versions from, from Unearthed Films, so definitely going to get that. But until next time, guys, take it easy. I'll be back soon with another review. I think the next one up will be Sacrifice which is part four in the American guinea pig series. American, did I say American guinea pig or American pig? I hate when I do that to myself. American guinea pig series. Um, yeah, that'll be the next one I watch. And uh, I'm really excited to watch it because I've heard a lot of great things about it. So keeping, my, keeping the expectation low, though, because whenever I buy into hype, it never m matches up to the hype in my head. And then I screw myself out of a, a great experience rather than just enjoying it for what it is so keeping the expectation low till next time guys take care and uh this is mr cinema junkie wishing you happy viewing and good health take care